Hey everyone, it's Johnny Stevens. Today we're doing another tip talk. This one is C and it's for connect. That's right, to connect. And once again, we are looking at the distance learning playbook. I know you're probably really impressed with those graphics. So, you know, I don't know if they're called graphics actually, visual effects, well, maybe, who knows. Um, but we were looking at this book and I wanna go back to um, this first module, Take Care of Yourself. And just to remind you that this is something that you're gonna have to adjust and reflect on continually because we are in a pretty dynamic environment that changes quite all the time. And I want you to be able to evaluate um, how you're doing with taking care of yourself and reflect on it. So we've already talked a little bit about module two. I wanted to go back to it because we're gonna talk this time about planned, purposeful connections. That's the main idea of today. Um, the first part of this module is mainly about establishing the routines and norms and um, you linking your norms to agreements um, and all of these kinds of expectations around uh, synchronous learning and asynchronous learning, which I think is really awesome. But I kind of decided to skip ahead to a part that I think is... Um, really where we need to hit first, and that is this idea of planned, intentional connections with our students. And I've really tried to look a lot of different places um, and some of my resources I was really digging in because um, I think this could be really difficult and really challenging. Um, we rely so much on our in-person ability to make connections with students and see them in the hallways and see them in our classrooms and all of those kinds of things and we don't have those and so it's really going to be hard and i mean for really young kids that's so tough um and for it's tough for all kids and in high school and middle school with so many kids it's going to be hard so um I'm hoping to give you some ideas and some suggestions about how you can connect to most students, but as always, you're going to have to really evaluate and um, do some unique and special things to help those students that really need to connect because we know that that connection makes the difference in engagement. That's engagement. That's learning. That learning is ultimately an um, emotional undertaking and how you feel about the learning experience dictates um, the amount of learning you get from it. So we're gonna have to really be purposeful with that and creative. So hopefully um, I'll have some ideas for you. I pulled up a couple different um, of resources that I've used before, uh, Character Strong. Um, you may have heard of that before. Um, you can just type in Character Strong in your browser and you'll get a lot of great stuff from it. Um, our Distance Learning Playbook. And then Marzano has the New Art and Science of Teaching and it has a lot of really good stuff in it. Um, I first heard of this idea of relationships um, from Grace a few years ago with this idea of establish, maintain, and repair. Um, EMR is what we call it. Um, you probably, you know, I'm sure you've heard of it before. We usually talk about it with new hires, but um, I think it's perfect for us when we talk about connecting, is how are we gonna establish connections? We have to be purposeful and targeted and then the maintain piece is how do we keep that going? We did all these great activities maybe at the beginning. And then repair is how are you gonna evaluate it so that you can see if you need to go back and do something different for that kiddo. Um, so that's really the big idea, this idea of establish, maintain, and repair. I really want you to think about that. And one of the first things I saw when I was looking is this idea has to be intentional. There's not one size fits all. Um, but there are some things that you can do in initially to establish that. Um, I looked on this website. I actually just went to the um, website and I typed, I mean, the, the internet and I typed in um, connecting with students, distance learning. And this came up and this is really great. I think for younger students, a lot of these we've heard before. Um, something that I thought was kind of interesting was this idea of a flat teacher. It's kind of like flat Stanley but this time you mail yourself, the teacher mails themselves, and each student can take a picture with themselves um, in an interesting place at home and then share it with the class. So I thought that was kind of a neat idea, but really getting creative with maybe even other things that you've done in the classroom and how you can do it here um, during uh, distance learning. The other thing was for older students, um, of course, there's lots of assignments that you can do uh, at the beginning of the year to get to know your students, surveys, 
um, SurveyMonkey. Um, you can do Cahoots where you do that. You can post questions in your Google Classroom. Each day is kind of an icebreaker and allow students to respond um, to each other. Um, you can, the number one thing, thing that I read on several places is really giving students a choice asking for their opinions and encouraging their input on their learning and the class and how best they uh, can show their learning during this time. So finding ways to allow for choice for older students and their input makes a huge difference. And then purposely finding ways to know about them because you won't see them in class all the time and um, you won't know what class they came from. So hopefully you can do something like that. And then um, the last thing I kind of want to focus on today is this idea of um, tracking those uh, connections so you can evaluate them. So that you can get an idea of um, what have you done to establish connections and then how are you evaluating if it is um, working or if that child is connecting. And sometimes that could be through their work completion or their learning or their evidence of their learning. What does that look like? So some way of logging it or tracking it. Um, and there's, like I said, some really great ideas in the EMR work um, that they actually give you logs for doing that. Marzano also has some logs for doing that. And I will post those in our Google distance learning Google Classroom for you to look at because I think they're really um, a great um, source for you. So we've gone a little longer than I want to, so we're gonna stop and I wish you the best and I, let's start um, after, about thinking about how we can connect the students in this really, really unique environment. Thanks, bye. And I also welcome your suggestions too.